clearly Commander Cam has chosen to utilize one of the preferred strategies of our former fearless leader, Johnny B. Biden. Clearly Cam Harris, she didn't waste her time as pretend vice president studying under the tutelage of Johnny B. Throughout his political career, which has spanned longer than the lifetimes of most people living in this country, John Biden at times, he would implement the strategy of plagiarism when he couldn't come up with a good idea on his own. Now, in the case of John Biden, coming across a good idea is equivalent to a two-legged dog chasing down a deer. That dog won't hunt. But in the late 1980s, when Johnny B was running for president for the first or second, maybe even the third time. Who the hell knows? I mean, the man's ran in more races than Usain Bolt. But during one of his many campaigns, Johnny B, he decided to borrow a speech from British politician Neil Kinnock. Supposedly, Johnny B saw one of Neil's political commercials and he felt like his platform made sense. So Johnny B, he adopted the language in the commercial as his own. His successor, Commander Cam, she has decided to utilize the same strategy. But instead of plagiarizing from politicians in Great Britain where there's a small chance that no one will notice, Cam, she has decided to use images in one of her campaign ads that are directly associated with someone who her fellow commanders in the woke army believe to be public enemy number one. Orange Man Bad! <laughs> If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Let me ask you guys something. And I would specifically ask this question to supporters of Cam Harris, but I don't think we have any of those in this audience. If I asked you guys to give me three key aspects of Commander Cam's plan for America, if I asked you to give me three specific things that Cam Harris is running on, would you be able to do it? If you ask Trump supporters the same question, most would probably answer it very easily. The Trumper has promised to fix inflation, he has promised to fix the problems at the southern border, and he has promised to eliminate taxes on tips, which is a brilliant strategy for a political campaign, but the reality is, eliminating taxes on tips, it affects a very small portion of the overall population. But whether you love him or hate him, Donald Trump has one thing that Cam Harris doesn't, a political identity. With the Trumper, what you see is what you get. You may hate him, you may discriminate against the leader of the orange race, but one thing you can never accuse the Trumper of being, a chameleon, a follower. Who in the hell's Cam Harris? What does she stand for? What are her beliefs? Like I told you guys a couple of weeks ago, this campaign, it is starting to remind me of the campaign that Barry the Obama ran in 2008. Back then, I remember conservative media asking these same questions about Barry Obama. Besides her stance on abortion, the only other certainty I can tell you about Cam Harris, she wants to tax unrealized income, a policy that is guaranteed to bankrupt the middle class. Now, for those that don't know, an unrealized income tax, it is a tax on earnings that you haven't earned yet, unrealized. For example, you received your annual 401k statement in the mail and you made $200,000 in interest that year. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Normally, that would be cause for celebration, but under the proposed plan of Cam Harris, you will be grabbing the blood pressure medicine because you'll have to pay 20 to 30% to the government based on the money that you haven't technically received. Well, KC, that is pure propaganda. When Cam says she wants taxes on unrealized income, she's only talking about taxing wealthy people. Hmm. Yeah, sure, Cam. You can enjoy that shit sandwich if you want, but I ain't buying it. According to the Cato Institute, the unrealized income tax, it is just a very, very small portion of the five trillion dollars in tax increases that Commander Cam wants to implement. Now, of course, 
this is not a original idea from Cam Harris. Most of these taxes, most of these policies, they are included in John Biden's budget for the 2025 fiscal year. We witnessed another unoriginal idea from Cam Harris yesterday morning on ABC. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and get to the sponsor for today's video, my good friends over at Red Revival. With everything that's happened over the past month or two, the failed attempt on Donald Trump along with Cam Harris being nominated for president without receiving a single vote, I think we can all agree America is in desperate need of a revival. One of my favorite things about our sponsor today, Red Revival, it's their tagline. You see it back there. Revive America. Isn't that what the country desperately needs? A revival? Revival is a colorful, patriotic brand that offers a variety of options. If you're into hunting and fishing, you can go with the camouflage tats. Revival also offers a variety of unisex t-shirts. And just to be clear... When Red Revival says unisex, that does not mean they are designed for those questioning their gender. It just means the t-shirts can be worn by both men and women. They offer a variety of unisex t-shirts with different illustrations of the American flag. This one right here is one of my favorites. It shows Isaiah 6, 8. It's a passage from the Old Testament where God is asking who he should send and Isaiah says, send me. Isn't that the same thing our brave men, our brave women in the military are saying every day, send me. Red Revival is a proud veteran-owned business who donate 10% of every sale to various military charities. So, support our military veterans. Click the link in the description below. Use my promo code BTL10, BTL10. Receive 10% off your first purchase with Red Revival. Yesterday morning, Deacon Sanders, he was the special guest on This Week at Woke United Methodist on ABC. Well, KC, who is Deacon Sanders? Are you talking about Deion Sanders? Um, no, Deion Sanders isn't too happy with the media right now. Like the rest of us, he is tired of their constant lies and propaganda. So Deion Sanders, he decided to kick the media's ass out of his program. The Deacon Sanders on ABC yesterday morning, it was Bernard Sanders, better known to friends and family as Bernie. Leaders at Woke United Methodist, they gave Bernard the unenviable task of attempting to make Cam Harris electable. They were discussing Cammie's newest political ad, which focuses on her commitment to securing the border. <laughs> You got a better chance at seeing Polly Polygamous committed to monogamy than you do of seeing Cam Harris committed to securing the southern border. Deacon Sanders and some dude from ABC, they were reacting to Cam's latest commercial. As they were watching the clip, this astute journalist at ABC, he noticed several images that looked eerily familiar. Watch for yourself. Kamala Harris has spent decades fighting violent crime. As a border state prosecutor, she took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. As vice president, she backed the toughest border control bill in decades. And as president, she will hire thousands more border agents and crack down on fentanyl and human trafficking. If you take a look at that ad, and one thing that I found striking is if you look, and I think we have the, uh, the images here, there are at least three points in that ad that show the, bo the border wall, Donald Trump's border wall. Is it now the position of the Democrats that they favor the border wall? Well, you, you can ask the Harris campaign about that ad. My favorite part of that clip is when he asked Bernard if deacons at Woke United Methodist are now in favor of building a border wall. Deacon Sanders, are you telling me that your party now supports a wall? I know you supported the construction of a wall last week in Chicago at the DNC, but that was completely different. That wall was meant to protect politicians and political elites. You mean to tell me that the deacons are now committed to building a wall to protect the serfs? I mean, the citizens? sense? Notice, he didn't ask Bernard to speak for Cam Harris. He didn't ask Bernard what Cam's stance was on this issue, probably because no one knows. He specifically asked Bernard if the Democratic Party is now supporting the wall. 
Now, of course, Bernie, he didn't answer because he knows it's all bullshit. Cam Harris literally used images of the wall built by Donald Trump to claim that she is the one that's committed to securing the southern border. The same wall that her party fought tirelessly to not have built. For years, Cam has been committed to legalizing illegal immigration. Now, all of a sudden, Cam expects me to believe that she wants to build a wall and secure the border? If Cam Harris is truly committed to securing the border, why hasn't she secured it over the last three and a half years? She was the fucking border czar. She was literally in charge of the southern border. Should have been the easiest job in the country because Donald Trump, he had already solved the problem. All Cam Harris had to do was nothing. And the thing is, she could have taken all the credit for it. Instead, she spread the border wider than the bruised caboose after a three-day weekend at the Butt Bongo Festival. A lot of people yesterday morning on social media, they were surprised that ABC was willing to bust Cam Harris using images of the wall built by the Trumper. Me personally, I wasn't all that surprised by this. I think we're going to see this more and more from the mainstream media. Now, I'm not saying the media will give Cam Harris the same treatment that they give the Trumper, but... I do believe that the honeymoon is over. This afternoon, the Trumper was at the Arlington National Cemetery to honor the 13 soldiers that lost their lives in that disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan three years ago. The withdrawal that John Biden and Cam Harris were responsible for. John Biden, he wasn't there today. Supposedly, he was at the beach, which is fine. John Biden has barely been seen in the past four, five, six weeks. I feel like the less we see of Johnny B, the better. But I checked the schedule of Cam Harris today. I guess this is another area where she is emulating Johnny B. Biden because her schedule today, wide open. There was not a single thing on her schedule. Yet for some reason, Cam Harris could not find the time to honor these fallen soldiers and their families. I wonder why. Give me your thoughts on this. ABC calls out Cam Harris. They bust her, really, for using images of Trump's border wall in her campaign where she promises to secure the border. Does anyone actually believe Cam Harris is committed to securing the southern border? She's had three and a half years, and all she has done is make it worse. Also, is the honeymoon over for Cam Harris? Do you think we will begin to see more skepticism from the mainstream media? You tell me. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.